What's up you guys? It's your girl Nika Pretty Blessed and I'm back with another video. Um, I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of living in Vegas. Okay, pros and cons. I'm going to be joined by my friend Avion and we actually recorded it a couple of days ago but I forgot to do introductions so that's why I'm doing this video right now. So yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and turn on that notification bell so you know when your girl is dropping a video. Make sure you like and comment, okay? Yes, make sure you comment because I am going to be giving out a special cash app to a special subscriber very soon. So make sure your cash app is in that box. Thank you. Okay, so what's up, you guys? Um, we are talking about pros and cons of living in Vegas. Now, neither one of us actually uh, were born in Vegas or grew up in Vegas. We yeah. both relocated here from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Now, do you want to tell them where you relocated from? Um, I relocated from uh, Mississippi, Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, but I'm originally from uh, South Bay, Indiana. And how long have you been here? Uh, going on five years. And I have been here about three and a half years. I moved here from Texas, um, but I grew up in Columbus, Ohio. I was born in California, so you know I've been a little bit of almost every side of the U.S. So I've lived in Florida. I lived there for about eight years, so south. Um, I lived in Texas, which is still kind of like the Southwest, Houston. Um, and then um, I grew up in the Midwest, born in the West Coast. So I have a pretty good understanding of you know kind of different places and you know from basically from living different places I have a, a great perspective on um, on things so I think that my opinion would be great for people who are thinking of moving to Vegas like if you visited here and you're like oh my gosh it would be great to live here because you're enjoying the vibe down on the strip or downtown um, you know it would be good to hear from somebody who's actually been here for a little bit okay so we're going to talk about some of the pros and cons like one pro that I think um, is, is good about living in Vegas would be the weather, right? Yeah. The weather is the always, nice. yes, yeah, always kind of, it's always good, I would say. Um, now, there are extremes because in the summer it gets about, <laughs> yeah, it's like a, 115, right? It gets, it gets 115, so you can actually like crack an egg and fry it out there, it gets so hot. So, um, a lot of people don't go out into the evening, like, is that how it is for you? Yeah, yeah, a lot of people don't go out into the evening. It's, it's too damn hot, like, be 115, 120 degrees, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go outside like that, burn myself up like that. So, yeah, everybody pretty much go outside at night time. Yeah, yeah. or late evening. Yeah, late so, evening. So, yeah, so, like, and that's what I noticed on the Strip, too. Like, normally when you go down to the Strip, the tourists normally don't come out until the late evenings. They will stay inside of... The hotels and casinos and gamble and do different things in their rooms um, and uh, everybody generally comes out when the sun goes down at mm -hmm. night so mm -hmm. y'all know from visiting how it gets yeah and in the winter what do you think about our winters here the winter is uh, it's pretty mild you know uh, me coming from South Bay Indiana cold as hell so it's good to have a break from all that snow and uh, you don't have to wake up extra early to wipe off the snow off your car and it's pretty nice, so uh, yeah. All I need is a hoodie or a jacket. You don't need no big, no gloves, no, no, yeah. snow, no snow pants or nothing like that. So yeah, straight, straight. I completely agree. Now, growing up in Columbus, Ohio, we had a lot of snowstorms and a lot of things going on um, with weather. Um, so move, living here versus living in Ohio, oh my gosh, it's a breath of fresh air. But mm -hmm. if you're talking about Florida mm -hmm. and Texas, they have some really, really great weather. I, I would say in Texas, it's about 80 degrees probably yeah, like most of the year. And Florida, about the same, 70, 80 degrees. And the winter, it can get a little cold in Florida. I think the best west, uh, weather out of Florida and Texas, I would say Texas. Um, so if you're comparing, I would say, I don't know. I lived in Florida for about eight years. Yeah. And their winters can get a little cold. But when I lived in Texas, when I lived in Texas, I rarely ever wore a coat. Like maybe once or twice out of the week, like not even out of the week, like maybe once or twice. And then all of a sudden it flipped back to 80 degrees. So you may get one or two days where it's cold, 
and then all of a sudden you'll get two or three weeks where it's hot mm -hmm. and normally i would wear a sweater in the morning and then by the evening i didn't even have on that sweater so it was really that nice there um i really did enjoy their weather it's much better than here because here it gets in the what 40s 50s during the day yeah but it can be even lower than that in the morning it can be down to the 20s in the morning and in the late evenings and at night chilly, though. yeah it gets cold here so don't sleep on that it gets cold um and it is coat weather like you will have to wear a jacket or a coat so mm -hmm. keep that in mind yeah. um so what is another pro that you would say uh well, i say man open 24 hours everything you know if you get hungry you know what i'm saying late at night you know what i'm saying 12 o'clock you know you can go get something to eat and everything pretty much open 24 hours so that's uh that's very true now if you live in a neighborhood or a suburb things may not be open all night long but there are places that you can go in the city that are open 24 hours the strip is open 24 hours um downtown area is open 24 hours fremont so if you want to go gamble party if you want to go get something to eat you can always do that um, they have CVS's and Walgreens down on the strip that are open 24 hours, so White you Castle. can always do that. Food places, White Castle, street <laughs> food. Um, so yeah, so it's always something to do. Mm -hmm. It's never a dull moment here in Vegas, let me tell you. If you want to have something to do, you can have something, to, something do. to do. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and I like that, um, one pro that I like about Vegas, and I will say this has been apparent, is that I like that you can go from a family life in the suburbs where they have little festivals in the mm -hmm. parks mm -hmm. and all different types of things for kids but then you can go straight into adult mode and, and head down to the strip and have yep. you know extravagant dinners with friends and hang out and and you know have that life as well so i like the diversity of uh you know being a parent and having options yeah um what else would you think is a pro uh, I say, like you say, great hiking trails and the, the, just the view of the, just Vegas. You know, as soon as you come in, you see the, you see all the mountains and stuff. You know, me coming from South Bend, there's no there's no mountains out there. And the mountains look almost surreal, right? Like yeah. that picture just looks like something from out of a movie. You mm -hmm. know, like a backdrop mm -hmm. or something. It mm -hmm. it looks so nice. It looks fake. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, I agree. And I have hiked some of um, the most amazing hiking trails here in Vegas. Red Rock is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, Canyon, Red Rock Canyon, excuse me. Amazing, amazing hiking trails. So yeah, that is definitely another one. Another thing that I like about Vegas is it's not too far from LA. It's yeah. about three to four hours. So yeah, LA is pretty dope. yeah, so in the summer you can head to the beaches. In the winter you can head up to Big Bear Mountain and go skiing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, those are always some advantages. Um, as well as one other thing that I like is the diversity. It's very yeah, diverse. It's all type of people here. You know, so uh, you know, like when I was in uh, Mississippi, it was it is either white or black. You know what I mean? But here it's like you got you got a little bit of everything. You got Chinese people, you got Mexicans, you know, you got black, white, you know, all type of people. So yeah. So if you're looking for a diverse mix of people to live around, this is definitely the spot. You're gonna find a little bit of everything here. All different types of cultures. All different types of food. So that is definitely a plus. Oh yeah, and another thing, like you hardly ever meet anybody that's actually from Vegas. Everybody's from somewhere else. So if you do meet somebody from Vegas, it's, it's, I won't say it's rare, but I'll say about seven out of 10, they probably from somewhere else. Yeah, and Avion, he actually thinks there's a lot of good looking people here. So I would say that would be a pro yeah, for him. <laughs> he thinks that Vegas has a lot of good looking people yeah. that stay fit and yeah. like to work out. That's one of the um, me myself i haven't seen a lot of um obese people here so i wouldn't say that but i don't think it's an overload of attractive people here probably <laughs> <laughs> over attractive people here only because i have lived in other places like florida, yeah, florida texas yeah, yeah. you know different places so i i wouldn't say this is a town where i've just seen the most beautiful people in um but just like any other town there are good looking people and there are not so good looking people um so that's what i'll say about that yeah. Now, across the board, we have decided that Vegas, while it can be a family town, they have suburbs and communities. Um, this community is best served for single people without kids, right? Yeah, I mean, true. because one of the cons that we have, like, let's go into the cons. Yeah. 
Because yeah, we've yeah. talked about the pros. Yeah, One of the cons happen. that we have is the dating scene here. Yeah, yeah. It is horrible. Yeah, oh my gosh. Like if you really want a mate or you really want to have a, a relationship, a monogamous, like true relationship with somebody, yeah. this is not the spot. Like this is hookup city. Hookup city. Man. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody's looking for a hookup. Everybody's looking for what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas type yeah. of vibe. Even people that um, live here. Yeah. The people that live here are still on that same thing. You would think that that would just be for tourists but no the people that live here are also on that same thing mm -hmm. um so you have to be real careful when you're dating here um and you have to vet out your partners really 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 well before getting serious yeah, smash and dash that's what they own <laughs> yeah and not just the the guys ladies yeah, the women the are women, on the same thing the here too so thing, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay so one other um Thing that is a con that you would say? Um, I'm starting to see a lot more homeless people, like you know, even on the strip and stuff, and even even in the neighborhood where I live at. You know, I'm starting to see. I don't know just because of the pandemic or what's going on, but you know, I'm starting to see a lot. You know, more homeless people. You know, yeah, while, you know. I agree. Um, I live in a gated community here, and where my house is, and we have security that circulates all day and night. So I don't see it as much where I'm at. I, I feel pretty safe. But before I moved into my house, I lived in an apartment. And in the apartment building, there were always homeless people who were checking the cars, looking in cars and yeah. stuff, and uh, you know, trying to open people's car people's car doors. I know a lot of people have problems with car theft here from the homeless people. Yeah, you gotta watch, um, yeah, you gotta watch out. <laughs> you gotta have your stuff locked. You know, the thieving is real. Yeah. And you also got to, um, you know, you just got to watch out here. Just stay safe, you guys. When you come here, make sure that you're being safe. Make sure that you're locking your doors. Um, and they all, they're they always sifting through the trash. So Yeah, always in the trash. Do you want my trash, man? Get up out of here, man. Yeah, so, so the homeless <laughs> issue is a problem. I just feel like homeless people just want to come to Vegas, um, you know, because they feel like they can beg on you know, on the strip in downtown and make money. And while they do make good money down there, they do make good money. Sometimes they trickle off into neighborhoods. I have no idea why, like what's going on with that? Ain't it enough money down on the strip? I don't know. Um, but one other issue that um, I would say is a con about um, Vegas are the jobs. There's not a lot of diversity in jobs. Mm -hmm. While you can get a lot of jobs, I would say that's the kind you can get a lot of jobs here. Like it's easy to get jobs it's because job. people don't stay at jobs here. Yeah. Like you will go, so you will frequent a place and you will see someone new every month because people quit just like that. Yeah. Um, so there's not a lot of loyalty in these jobs here. People don't stay at their jobs. Well, it could, could um, be a pro. Like it depends on how you look at it. It could be a pro because you could come here and get a job. Just because you know one one man's treasure. I mean one man's trash is another man's treasure. So yeah. But also, I don't know what the issue is that people, uh, or the reasons why people don't stay at the job. Like, is there something wrong? Is there something going on we need to know about? I don't know. Because I've uh, worked for my company ever since I've been here. So I haven't worked for any other place. But I'm just that type of person. Like, I will, I'm a kind of a loyal worker. When I like a company, I will stay there. So that's just me. But yeah, a lot of other people are not here. So. And, and I would say there's not a lot of diversity because, like, you know, when you go to other cities or big cities, there are a lot of big buildings downtown. Like, yeah. you'll see Ameri the American Express building. You'll see a Bank One building. You'll see all of these buildings in the downtown area. You don't see that here. It's just casinos, just okay? Just casinos. Just casinos. So, if you, you know, nine times out of ten, you're going to work in a casino eventually if you live here yeah. long enough. So, yeah. yeah. So, that's pretty much, um, you know, one con that we saw. Um, if you are cool at working in casinos, it could be a pro for you. Mm -hmm. But if you're not and you're looking for something else, like say you've been working in call centers all your life and you really want a call center job, which I'm sure they do have call center yeah, jobs here. Good call center. They yeah, call center job. but there's probably not going to be an abundance of call center jobs like other cities. Mm -hmm. um, and then the last con that we kind of have is um, the school district. Yeah. Um, and I would only say the school district because it is on the bottom um of the list of you know Cause, yeah. good schools yeah. in the nation so it, it's it's in the lower five i think five to ten 
for um, you know academics and things of that nature. So if you have a child and you're looking to move to Las Vegas, you have to realize that you're not gonna have the best school districts in the nation for your kids. Mm -hmm. So that yeah, that's definitely something to think about yeah. if you are the type of parent that's looking for um, a superb school for your kid. Yeah. Um, you're, you're probably not going to find that here unless you get a, a private, private school. school. And then I've heard some not so good things about some of the private schools as well. So mm -hmm. you might be wasting your money. Yeah. Not sure. <laughs> but those are some of the things that we have found just living here in Vegas. Um, if you have any other things that you would like to add and you are a local here in Vegas, go ahead and drop it in the comment box. Let us know what you think. What are some of your pros and cons? Um, and make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. And go ahead and share this video with your friends, family, and let them know what your girl is doing so that you can help me to build my subscribers.